It's the King Not Queen Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to the King Not Queen Podcast. My name is Nina and I am your sick host. <clears throat> yes, I'm sick. Why I'm sick? I don't know. I don't know why I'm sick. I think it's the weather i'd like to think it's because out of nowhere it just got like super hot into the 90s and then like on top of that like i wasn't spending enough time outside so no vitamin c and that's why i'm sick so yeah deal with it this is like my cute sick voice though like isn't it so cute and i'm so sick i was like oh someone give me some medicine um anyways where am i guys where am i i have to turn off the ac guys there's ac i found a room with ac that is like somewhat decent to film the podcast in has a great setup and everything how lucky am i um but i had to turn off the ac because it's like right here and my microphone's picking it up for some reason which is annoying um but yeah like isn't she quaint i have a guest today as well um the name kirby um what we're going to talk about you'll see but um yeah really cute room very grateful to be able to be in here um i'm scared though like i put a sign on the door that usually that tends to work signs on the door um but like i wonder if this room is like soundproof or not like i don't really know i guess i'll find out but um but yeah like in the little camera thing i got two devices going on this is where i'm recording from and um over here are my notes and stuff um a little oh my god like i'm so like jangly because i have like my keys and stuff this i feel like really awkward i don't know why um i was gonna do like i wrote on here fit check fit check so i was okay on my way um i have like a little like day in my life that i'm gonna post on various platforms but um i went to go get lunch today and i just got it to go because i was like i'm not eating here the dining hall situation right now like where i'm at it makes me feel very uncomfortable because i'm just like a socially awkward person and i don't want to sit with other people like that i don't know i just feel very uncomfortable so i just like went home and ate my food in peace and i was also on the phone a little bit but i was walking back and i had my sprite in my hand and i had um my lunch in my other hand i was like oh let me just go this way for today because sometimes i feel like it's quicker so i went down this other street that has like a thrift store on it and i saw this person i was like hey um and he was like pointing at like one of like the thrifted shirts and then it made me realize that my entire outfit today like besides my shoes was thrifted let's get into it this shirt red socks my beloved jaren duran we love you love you king um I don't know where I got this from, but it was bought at a thrift store, and it's one of my favorite shirts to wear. Um, and then these pants, these jeans, I got from um, Goodwill more recently, and they are Levi's 505s. I don't know what that means, but a relaxed fit. I was, this was a steal to find. They were five dollars, like and they're like perfect condition i was very happy did they shrink a little bit in the washing machine yes am i fine with it yes because i rolled them up a little bit um and i'm also wearing my crocs my crocs i'm now a croc girl um i just got some crocs for my birthday um which we can talk about but yeah i got black crocs and then i got spongebob crocs too also my socks have holes in them why i literally this is my first time wearing this pair of socks and there's a hole in it i was like why is my toe feel like that it's because i'm touching the bottom of my shoe um ring tour this ring just like a simple like silver ring i got from fan expo 2023 um the one on my middle finger is a clatter ring from um uh, my mom and then i got another ring from fan expo it's a frog and so far has not turned my finger green which i'm really happy about because i like wearing rings lol um and then on my other hand this one i got from like a vintage flea market that i went to i don't know why i said vintage just a flea market that i went to 
um, and that was made. And then this one on my ring finger is like just like a bar. Like I don't know how to describe it, like a bar. And it has like three like gems in it. And this was like a vintage one that I got at a vintage flea market. So yeah, ring toa, ring toa. Um, should I do a tattoo tour as well? Cause I got two new tattoos. They're fake, but it's funny. This one I just put on today. It's like a cherry. I kind of like this placement and I kind of like the cherry thing, but I feel like it's kind of basic. Me with my butterfly tattoo. Um, and then I have like this dinosaur one, which you can't even see because it's yellow and like my undertones on my, of like my skin are just very yellow as it is. So you can't really see it. Um, but it looks like the dinosaur from Barney. If y'all remember, if y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, but yeah. Fit check, outfit check. Um, Crocs, if you want to sponsor me, you can. We love you, Crocs. I have the SpongeBob ones too. I got the SpongeBob slides. They had the lightning, guys, if you remember from the last podcast from five months ago. Um, they had the, I really wanted the Lightning McQueen Crocs and I begged Crocs to send them to me. Um, not that they saw that video, but I saw the Lightning McQueen Crocs at the Crocs store in Boston and they didn't have my size. It was one size too small. And I thought, you know, I could really force it right now. And they're light up Crocs too. Like I could have done it, but I just did it because they're too small. But crocs if you're out there girly hey girly love you crocs if you want to send me the lightning mcqueen crocs i'm a size hold on i'm a size men's six women's eight if y'all want to send the lightning mcqueen crocs all right um lunch check what did i have chicken and tater tots and sprite and then a vitamin c uh packet emergency and some water no coffee today unfortunately i might go on a no coffee weekends kind of thing for the past two weeks um but yeah okay life update where are we what's going on i am staying i am not at home this summer i am still on campus all right car um, I'm still on campus and I'm very grateful that I am on campus. Um, it's very, it's 3 p.m. guys. <laughs> um, I'm very grateful that I am on campus and it's a very different experience, like just like living on my own, even though it's like very like assisted living on my own, if that makes sense. But like, I don't know, it's very, it's very odd. It's, it's taking a bit of adjustment, even though it's go tomorrow will be three weeks since I moved in um but yeah and uh I work and I work and I live my life which mostly means going to the dining hall and then going home then do do, do one a little bit watching Love Island and then going to bed I'm trying to fix like my nighttime routine though well not nighttime just like my sleep schedule because I've been going to bed at 1 a.m. thinking that that's okay and then having to wake up at 7 and thinking that six hours of sleep is okay, which it's not. It's really not. So I'm going to try to fix that. And um, yeah, guys, I might put on if you see me the next time I'm like wearing a hat. Don't worry about it. Um, But yeah, that's my life update, guys. You're in for a roller coaster of an episode. Let me just tell you, because just stay till the end because there's a huge announcement just stay until the end there's a big 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 girl announcement like i have the biggest girl announcement that you've ever heard in your life like it's a pretty big announcement and you're gonna want to stay until the end and it's like don't even skip ahead because you're gonna miss all the context in between so you have to watch the entire episode in order to understand what i'm gonna like announce at the end so stay tuned for that um but yeah not really like an action-packed episode um but more just like a chill relaxed episode before we get to like the bomb i will be dropping at the end of this episode like truth bomb life changing information for anyone who cares about this podcast like this will change your life i'm gonna change your life i'm gonna change it iggy azalea hit me up um okay 
but yeah we can let me just say this will be i'm pretty sure the last time you'll be hearing that moving tv show review um interlude song just saying just saying but yeah okay let's get into it bad movie and tv show review bad movie and tv show review sometimes they're good though okay guys <laughs> you have to i'm i'm talking to the wrong side of the microphone <clears throat> y'all if you are watching if you're listening to the audio version you need to run to youtube.com slash Janina King because um I'm fitted up right now I'm fitted up what does the back of this look like right now anyways I'm wearing a Mario hat um welcome to bad movie and tv show review I got two things for you number one the boys season four um guys I watched episode four and i walked away with a crush on um butcher carl urban i don't know what happened but um if you know you know um but yeah i really love the boys so much i think it's such a great show um it's doing a lot like the jump from like season three to four in terms of like political sorry political commentary goes absolutely nuts like they like turned it on high speed and they know what they're doing so like obviously but it kind of turned it up a notch a little bit but it's so interesting to watch and i want them like low-key i want them to like make fun of um like streamers like they kind of already with like the um firecracker girl how she's like clearly like a right wing like grifter person but i want them to do it so badly for like like the other side of that like i want them to like make fun of hassan so badly like i want them to have like a streamer who like is like you know it's just like basically like hassan but like obviously they're making fun of it i just want i just really want to see it i just want to see how like good they would do anyways that's such like a niche like thing of me to say that only a select few people are going to understand but anyways yeah the boys season four I'm really hyped and like i understand like they're releasing episodes every week thing like that's how normal tv works <laughs> can you imagine but like i've just been so spoiled with so many shows where like i just like need to like have all the episodes you know also the thing about the boys is that it airs on thursdays or like thursday like early morning and i will be watching it at work and there's sometimes and i sit in the place that i sit in my work is like everybody walks in and sees me sitting there and even the other place that i work at my job like i just feel like any like i just feel like if you like look over my shoulder and you see what's going on on my phone you're like what the, like i can't even prop up my phone to watch the show like as i'm working or like to even like glance at it because it is so ridiculous like what is going on in the show that i have to like keep the brightness low and it's just like under like my chin when i watch it um but apparently there's some like big crazy scene coming up and i'm like really scared because i just like don't want that to play while i'm at work which like no one told me to play it at work but also like it it's it's such a good like time thing because it's like an hour of the show then i have, like two hours of like um what is it called like review oh my god what are they called like breakdowns of the show from like i watch um heavy spoiler show i watch screen crush now screen crush is a new one because i didn't used to watch them but screen crush and then new rockstars i when i tell you new rockstars if you're watching this new rockstars i have been a fan since before you guys had a million subscribers i've been how many subscribers does new rockstars have hold on i've been a fan of them for so long and i watched them hit like a million and i they have 4.1 million subscribers like oh okay eric let's chill um but i've been a fan of new rockstar since before they had a million i've seen them hit a million and continue to grow oh like back when they only had like eric and now they have like so many more people i really like jess um a lot but um yeah that, that's so random but i love new rock stars i love you guys y'all my favorite um but yeah 
so yeah that's it for the boys um i really am excited about how they tie in gen z i really want to see um kate and the other kid sam i think was his name um i really want to see them in the show like so badly like i'm so excited for that um but let's talk about like what we're really here for love island some context for me with love island like the first time i heard of it was from cody co and noelle miller like playing like the love island game on their iphone um that was really bad the love island was really good by everything else after that was bad so don't make fun of me but anyways um and then my cousin like two years ago was like oh you guys should watch it and we started watching love island uk and my mom was like i don't really want to watch this i'm like me either it's kind of like it was a bit cringy at imo but then we're like oh let's watch love island usa and we immediately loved it something about like just how like I don't know if there's like if this is just always a difference but something about like american reality is just so like ugh. like it's like you like it's like an ugly like you want to watch it whereas like with uk it was like kind of like serious and like a little bit too well produced in my opinion where like we were like eh. but um yeah love island usa big fan this is my third round of love island usa i think this is season six so i watched season four season five season six my favorite couple from season four was um it was not Timmy and Zita. Timmy and Zita, I did not like them at all. They were giving Keenan and KK from season four. I mean, season five. But um, I really liked... Why am I going blank right now? Season four. Oh, Zay and, uh, Isaiah and Sydney. Love them so much. I loved Isaiah. Although he did do her dirty when he brought back Phoebe. I wanted to hurt somebody so badly when he brought back the other girl from Casa. The thing about me is like, why would you even... the? Sorry, no the boys going to casa is so much different than the boys like staying at the house and dealing with the girls like something about leaving and the guys coming back with the girl hurts more than the girls leaving come back coming back with a guy i don't know what it is maybe it's just like me as a girl but like something hurts so much more worse when you're like i'm sitting at home waiting for you to come back for me like alone and you're gonna come back with a girl to my house to our house absolutely not so yeah something way different i really hope the season they do that with they send the guys to casa i feel like they maybe they'll switch it every season and last season they sent the girls i need them to send the guys to casa so bad but really there's no couples that like i'm absolutely rooting for this season like aaron and Kaylor, i could really do without i know Kaylor is like probably gonna fold aaron i don't think he's gonna fold but i'm not really a big fan of him just saying like love you Aaron but like you're really good to Janae but like I j- I could really do without him to be honest um but they're probably gonna go on and win the whole thing anyways um but like the main person this season for everybody was Rob because he was such a fan favorite like last season when he was in casa when the girls went to casa and he was like trying to mess around with carmen and i just loved rob so much because like i don't know he was like his sense of humor is like very me coded a little bit in the sense that but no in the sense that (laughs) in the sense that like he was very like he's just all very jokes and then like we'll get serious it seems but like it's very just like joke heavy and i feel like i'm a very joke heavy person too or like especially like when i'm (laughs) when i'm uncomfortable like i'll be like making jokes or something and i feel like that's exactly how he is a little bit or like i don't know he's just very silly he's just a silly boy so silly that boy um (laughs) but yeah i just have i have a little bit of a soft spot for rob um just because i just loved him so much from last season but this season he is doing and from the jump to i really liked leah and i knew that she was gonna go after rob and she did and they were so cute together they were so cute together but he just seemed like he was in very much like denial and didn't know what he had um with her and i think she's a very interesting character where like she just went into it all wrong which is like honestly like her fault a little bit but like you went into love island with your eyes on one guy and didn't want to try anything else and that's why she had the problems she had because she just wanted him from the jump and was like already jealous like on day one before she was coupled with him like when hannah wanted to this is like very heavy on if you've watched love island one of the girls want like was like oh i kind of want him she was like no no he's mine he's mine and the girl backed off um 
so like she was very much on him since since day one since oh one guys and um and she doesn't have him now which is like so sad and like the whole thing was like kind of sad he kind of gaslit her a little bit but also in some ways he was right we're like hey i'm trying to explore this connection and if she if he didn't go about it so messy and she didn't go about it so messy and he realized that his thing with his new girl isn't that good them go- getting back together wouldn't be weird but now that it's been so like drawn out and everything like if if they get back together i'm gonna be like kind of annoyed i'll be like a little bit happy don't get me wrong because i like them together but like it's gonna be a little weird the fans are i don't think are gonna like it if they get back together but like them sharing one brain cell at the end of the day is like why they are like the og couple that should be staying like i'm sorry but sharing them passing back and forth the brain cell when will it be my turn i'm so sorry but when will it be my turn to pass back for the brain cell because <laughs> i'm waiting um but yeah rob then we have connor which he came in and i was like because like i wasn't really feeling the people this season like i always like gravitate towards one person like one of the guys at like the beginning of the season and then usually and like for season four it was isaiah like i loved him um since the first episode and then for season five i don't think i really liked anybody like that much like i kind of liked marco a little bit but like then like someone else came in i was like yes but like this season from day one it was rob but now like and no one else really like i didn't really oh, sorry i didn't really like anyone else and then connor came in as a bombshell and oh love connor so much but like he gave the impression that he was very mature like i think he said he was like 28 or something like gave the impression he was very mature that he's not gonna be like doing all this like dumb stuff or whatever but he kind of did the dumb stuff and he could have done the dumb stuff without coming off as a bad person because he like totally played the girl he's with in in order to wait for leah to be single which like what was he gonna do if, if she never became single you know man am i right but like i don't know it's just like very he played it a little weird where like it didn't have to be like that but like unfortunately he did do it like that now he looks like a bad person but you know what can you do but i just want to look back to last season to my one true love the one the love island king of all kings most underrated probably the most like attractive person that they've ever had on love island and that is kenzo do we get it like i'm putting up the picture do we understand do we understand because i miss kenzo so much like i miss him so much the way i will never erase it out of my mind of the day when Carmen was coming back from Casa and he was so nervous. She came back single. That man sprinted and almost fell, running to her and picking her up and kissing her and being like, I missed you so much. I'm sorry. What do you mean? What do you mean? He ran to her, picked her up and kissed her because he missed her. What do you mean? Um miss him so much and i'm glad that they're still together i love them so much like they were so cute and it was like everything that carmen was waiting for when she got there like she would kind of bounce from man to man everyone was like oh carmen this carmen that but like i knew from the second that kenzo walked in i'm like they're gonna be together (sighs) and his outfits were so great too oh my god i miss him so much um but yeah kenzo will forever be like the number one king and no one can tell me otherwise but yeah that's all i have for this um again we're going through changes bad movie tv show review look out for her because she's let's just say she'll be changing a little bit she might have some specials she might be i don't know she might look a little different but yeah that's all i have it's the last one ever in this kind of format if you know you know you don't know only i know um but yeah i'll probably take off this hat now because it feels really uncomfortable (laughs) anywho okay Ah. artist spotlight yeah yeah 
here at Tardis Spotlight. Spotlight. Uh, I took off the hat, guys. It was a little hot. Um, my time with the AC swirling around this room is ending soon, so I have to turn it on soon. Anywho, Artist Spotlight. I got three things on the list. Three things. Number one, yesterday, I took myself out on a little movie date and i went to go see right here right now the ghost movie um concert and i was so excited i know it doesn't sound like i'm excited because i like started to think about other things but for context they were on tour last year um for their album um impera and um they were coming august something and i was able to get 25 dollars tickets um but unfortunately it was at the expanding center which is like really far really long train ride like obviously it was like a late night concert started at like eight and like i wouldn't have been able to take the train back home so it was like a whole thing so i just like didn't end up going i was really sad because i like fell in love with ghosts at the end of 2022 love them so much and i just like wasn't able to go it was really sad um but I was like, when I saw they come out the concert movie, I'm like, perfect. Like this is the ex- like this is the concert that I want to go to, and I go to the comfort of like a movie theater with, you know, a snack and like great sound quality. And one thing I will say about the movie though is that I wish like the movie theater turned it up a little bit, which obviously like they can't because there's like a thousand other movies that they're playing. But like, dang, like the sound was so like low. Like I wanted it to be rattling in my ears, and it really wasn't. Like it was like kind of low. I'm like are all movies like this low we just like don't know because it's not like a concert like i don't know i feel like it should have been louder and i don't think that was a movie's fault i think it was just like the theater um we another thing i was kind of mad about was that like my favorite part of ghost performing square hammer is the square hammer stomp is when my three guys in the middle like when they're doing like when soto does his little like um when soto does his little like solo and then oh my God, who bass player ghoul i forgot what their ghoul name is because i know it's soto phantom and somebody else oh rain yeah rain um yeah so rain plays the bass and then um soto plays the lead guitar and then phantom plays like the rhythm guitar and um like them those three like go up to the middle and then like when like the like fire like pops out like they all stomp and then they go like like they all like go off that is one of my favorite parts of watching like tiktoks and stuff of them doing it live and like cut away from it to like obviously like a plot driven part of the movie but like they cut away from it and i was so angry i was so mad i'm like are you kidding me right now that was my favorite part that but they made up for it with no and another part i was a little mad about was that the entirety of mariana cross my favorite song like when i tell that's the song i found ghost on that's the song that like i will always listen to it'll never get old my favorite song they didn't show any part of the live performance it was all like a like a music video like cartoon thing again for the plot and stuff but like i wanted to see it so bad i was so mad like that was like Again, another reason I wanted to go see the movie was to see Marion across to perform live and then the stage presence and all the guitar and like Swiss singing and all the harmonies. Like that's all I wanted to see. And they only showed the end of it and I was really mad. Um, but they really made up for it when during wa- um, Watcher in the Sky, there's a part where Rain and Phantom are like on the side. It's during like one of the breakdowns when like Soto is like whammying the guitar and they like do this thing where like they're like and um it's like a like that's the sound like that the drum makes and they both go like that like they're like that's my favorite part of the song and the camera cut to them doing that because they stand next to each other do it in like sync and then they go like because like they go like like on the guitar it's like it was everything and more than i wanted and then they also cut to them when they're like bah, and they look at each other and then they did they cut to the lean too like that, that those are my favorite parts of that performance and i wanted to see that like i wanted to see that so badly live 
at the concert that I was supposed to be at um but I was able to see in the movie so I was very happy with that and um yeah I can't tell if that's a five or not no it is okay um but yeah that was like life-changing and there was like wow I just love ghosts so much and I haven't been listening to them in a while so I'll be going back to that but yeah that was a great movie yesterday and it like ended on a cliffhanger question mark like I was like I thought this was a concert movie I didn't think there was like lore and like some of the things I was a little confused about because I don't know all the ghost lore like I know some of it but like not all of it and um yeah like that's that's all I can't really say about that this is gonna be like a pain to listen to because of like that i'm sick and that i'm just like so stuffy like i'm so i just want to apologize i do want to apologize um but yeah uh there's a lot of lore and i think there's gonna be a new papa and i really want papa three to come back papa three i want papa three to come back because um i really liked him but anyways um okay next thing the pharrell lego movie like who asked no hate to pharrell love pharrell but like who asked question mark like it's so random and i'm glad that he's getting this opportunity he's such like a non-serious person but why do you have a lego movie coming out mm. Mm. no i need have a lego movie coming out but i heard in the trailer like this song it's like you can't be me i'm a rock star and i was like i kind of like that so i'm like googling you can't be me on rockstar for real and like nothing was coming up i was like why can i find this song and i'm finding it it's called rockstar by nerd um no, it's like it's nobody ever really dies, I think. Um, that's like his like band, I guess, or like just like a collective. I don't know anything all that, but um I really like that song. And yeah, I have like so much more to talk about when it comes to artist spotlight, but like again, you'll get all the information at the end of the episode about why like I'm kind of like holding off. Um, but my last thing, Billy of course I have to talk about Billy Eilish because like that's my girl, but Billy Eilish hit me hard and soft. If you haven't seen, I filmed a reaction video that I posted on my YouTube channel oh my god (laughs) i really hope it's still filming i really hope it's still filming please tell me it's still filming because that was so funny oh my god it is okay um i don't know what to do about this hey guys maybe i'll just hold it here for right now um because i don't feel like putting this is like the one like last thing i have to film but um yeah anyways um yes i filmed a video about this about the album and um you should go watch it it's on my youtube channel and i love it i listen to it basically every day so the thing i listen to and it like just never gets old um blue has not become one of my favorite songs it's the first minute of it of like true true blue i love so much i love singing along birds of a feather like i'm so happy it's like gonna be song of the summer because i, I love it so much and i knew from day one that that song <laughs> I can't, i'm sorry i keep saying day one it's kind of cringy i knew from like the second that i listened to it that that was like one of my favorite songs and it's so poppy but at the same time like it's so her it's so her like like for real um but yeah i just have to say about that i'm really rushing through this because like i don't want to hold this anymore it's kind of hot in here now and i'm like scared okay um but yeah we're getting into taking a scroll and then the end of the podcast guys i'm scared guys i'm scared taking a scroll taking a scroll hey hey taking a scroll yeah whoa <laughs> here we are at taking a scroll taking a scroll whoa. i don't know if that one's my favorite or if bad movie tv show review is i don't know um i only have like two things um for taking a scroll um one is something i've been thinking about a lot lately and me posing for a thumbnail (laughs) um i just think i've been having a hard time watching hd podcast lately and i don't know why that is i think it's just a like i don't have a time thing but like i do have time but i don't know i like went through a heavy phase where i was watching every single day i was watching every single episode and i haven't sat through and watched a full episode in like months and it happened when um 
when they came back from break after having their son um and i think it just might have been the change to like the h3 show and i don't know what it is but like it's something about having like mondays h3 tv two uh wednesdays um off the rails like you knew it's gonna be something crazy and then like fridays having after dark and having it be more relaxed and now everything just like feels the same it feels like he's doing like three of the same podcasts every week and like that's just like not how he built the audience he has now i think um and it's taking some adjusting and i could see like the numbers like reflecting that sorry guys i'm muting this so you're not gonna know what i'm saying i think it's like i don't know what it is but i'm having a hard time watching and everyone knows that i've loved this podcast for so long i'm getting so stuffy now um but yeah the stir- the other thing i had was the sterniolo's lip balm controversy um uh, i was talking about this with my friend that's why i like wrote it down but um yeah i think it's like influencer products like we've been through this with everybody at this point it's the year 2024 we've had you know james charles in his palette we've had um dixie demillion her popcorn charlie demillion her popcorn charlie demillion family shoes we've had kim kardashian in her app we've had kylie doing lip kits or whatever at the beginning now of course she's like more of an owner but like at first it was like oh so lip kits like okay um we've had other youtubers um the people just like having merch like it's like the same thing as merch basically like you're having someone funnel all your stuff you know um like oh I- i'm starting a pizza company like you did start a pizza company like they just hit you up being like hey you want to sell heart-shaped pizzas and you said yeah and there you go um but yeah like that just happens to everybody once you get you know famous enough oh blue light glasses oh blue light setting spray i don't know you know what i mean like it's, it's very like this is like the rounds we go through with influencers like why are we like now all of a sudden being like hey this feels wrong like why are we charging so much money for lip balm i'm like we should know by now but it is kind of crazy like (laughs) like people like really getting into like the legal records like i don't have time for that personally but then again i think it is that person's job to just like that's just like their job on tiktok is like digging into people's lives like that i guess but like personally i don't have the patience or time to be doing all that um but yeah um that's all i have to say about that i just really wanted to get to the end because this is where like the big announcements are coming in um yeah so that's it for like the meat and potatoes of this podcast and i want to me okay this is kind of funny because i was like i really hate the way that h3 changed the show into like the h3 show blah blah blah. and as i'm about to announce like something like somewhat similar or i guess like i'm doing like the reverse thing but um (coughs) sorry my medicine's wearing off um so i am changing the podcast this is my last podcast me posing for a thumbnail again this is low-key the last time you'll be listening to the king not queen podcast and it being like weekly recap like i didn't do a cold open today if you didn't notice but weekly recap bad moving tv show review artist spot like taking a scroll closing like this is the last time i'll ever be like that it's the last time i'm using the musical interludes because it just like takes i want to do this podcast like so badly like i've been wanting i love doing the podcast and you know taking time out of my day to do it and editing is such a fun thing for me but to get over the hump of like editing and like dividing things up and putting things together and blah 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 whatever some like minor changes i guess need to happen which like is the musical interludes which, which they i'm very proud of them but like like i have to stop recording do the thing start recording again do the thing blah blah go back and forth like that's like a whole piece of it that i now no longer have to do um i can just play the intro at the beginning and just like get on with my day um so yeah um 
so that's what we'll be changing there i'll also be starting um a new show because i realized that i really 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 love music and i really just like get so fixated on certain things about music that like i need a whole platform to talk about music on so i'll be starting a new show um called artist spotlight like it's like it's like me like just like divvying up the podcast a little bit because i like music so much like artist spotlight just becoming its own segment um so yeah i'll be having the artist spotlight show um i'm still like debating on like an official title that will be like on the youtube channel and on like the spotify thing but um i have the first one it's not ready but like i have an idea of like what i want the first one to be about and it's actually going to be like artist spotlight like majority of it will be on a singular artist me diving in talking about their music like why i found them why i love them and um and of course i'll be like giving updates and stuff on all that but yeah artist spotlight will be now be its own show it'll be very exciting it'll probably be like shorter like won't be as long as these podcasts are as like the normal show um but there will still be the king not queen podcast like that's just like kind of like a spin-off show but there will still be like the king not queen podcast and that's the format of that will change a little bit where like yes i'll be talking about like mo- bad movie or i'll be talking about movies and tv shows and like social media and stuff or social media like happenings or whatever um but i really want it to flow a little bit better and more of that like i'm not divvying up the podcast like having the interludes and stuff like i want everything just like flow nicely more of like the broski report kind of where like i know she has notes and she's able to just like connect everything or just like you know has like a uh, has a show organized but like it doesn't feel like it's like okay bullet point bullet point bullet point and i like doing that like having like a script kind of thing but i just want to have ideas written down and not like a script that i'm following i guess um so i i see it being a bit more like talky talk showy kind of thing i don't know um which i'm which i'm excited about i'm excited to see how that format will work um especially now that like if i do it consistently like this summer and stuff and like being in this room and getting comfortable and getting like a rhythm and stuff i feel like it'll be really fun but yeah those are like the like the separation of the shows there'll be two shows my thoughts right now are like music is always released on fridays and stuff so i'm thinking of moving the release date of artist spotlight to fridays um just to like align with like the industry and then moving the king of queen podcast to be on wednesdays um just i don't know releasing twice a week which i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna do every other week if i'm gonna do like two podcasts a week like that's gonna be a lot um i'm still like not completely sure about that okay so the new format the new dates i'm working on like more like social media stuff because like my instagram literally has one post on it from like the day that i started the podcast which is like kind of embarrassing like i want to do reels i want to have like an announcement of like shows like show is going live right now um and like i'm working on like tiktok stuff i mean like highlight clips if you like can't watch the entire episode Um, not that anyone's watching anyways, um, and, like, also having, like, YouTube shorts and stuff, like, I'm just trying trying to, like, I don't know, work on that stuff, or just, like, at least, like, if not for, like, more people to see it, just, like, for more practice and, like, more organization and routine for me, I guess, it's just, like, I just need that kind of structure in my life, especially, like, right now, because I feel like I don't have enough structure, uh, just because, like, it's summer and stuff, but obviously, once school starts, I'll be like, whoa, but, um, but, yeah, um, and then i was thinking like what's gonna entice people to come to like the youtube channel and stuff oh wait before i say that um more stuff with like separate shows i was thinking like having like specials sometimes so sometimes when my friend dio we have a playlist of um of like our things together it should pop up right here um my friend dio we love like watching movies and stuff and like making fun of them as we watch them like like not like in <laughs> i don't know how to describe it like shows shows we watch together we watched love victor and then we like made a podcast about it monster high we watched the movie and made a video about it um and like whenever we do like those kinds of things um like i we like talking about it after i'm like oh why don't we just do a podcast so like those kinds of specials um for like reviewing movies and tv shows especially bad ones like definitely there will be specials on that um and then also like guess i don't know if i'll have any guests though but um for now for now 
um but also having like youtube like exclusive just to have people come to youtube channel so like i was thinking like oh i have a vlog of this coming up or something else coming up where you can see like snippets and i was thinking of calling it like snippets i don't know i'm sorry that i'm like so stuffy um i'm trying to like get through this fast but yeah just like that's just like the ideas that i have and i really want it to like start rolling like asap so i'll be working on that and yeah keeping myself busy that's the fun things to do but um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and listening i'm like holding it off so i could like go blow my nose and go to the bathroom and take my medicine um yeah this is it for the canopy podcast thank you so much for thanks so much for sitting through 42 episodes of me trying to figure out what exactly i want this podcast to be and look like and like thank you for sitting if you're like a listener since the beginning thank you so much for sitting through me like not being consistent like i was consistent at first of like um i keep unmuting this i don't know when um but i keep saying i'm gonna be consistent and then i'm not like the max i've done back to back to back has been like maybe five weeks like i've never been like consistent and i want to be consistent for um those who care and also for like myself as well and for my resume (laughs) um but yeah um and yeah if you have any like things you want me to cover on the show if you have anything you want me to cover on the show it's got a really funny text message um please email me at, at king not queen pod again it's king not queen pod don't forget the pod at gmail.com for your brand welcome to the show welcome to the party um also email me there um I'm, i live in my email and um yeah thank you so guys so much for listening i hope you guys are excited for the new shows and all the new content and make sure to follow me on instagram at king king dot not queen i think it is king dot not queen on instagram same on tiktok um my youtube channel is youtube.com slash nina king um that's like so sexy the fact that i got slash nina king <laughs> um but yeah go follow me on there or go subscribe please subscribe please subscribe and um yeah okay thank you guys so much for listening i'll see you next time bye bye bye